Hi, welcome back to the organizing tip, not of the day, because I don't give them every day, because I'm lazy, but here we go. So we're having another baby, so in my crazy mind, for some reason, I feel like we have to redo the toy room, so it's coming, but slowly. <laughs> I'm going to be painting it and freshening it up. We're actually going to be moving one of my girls' beds down here so we can get them bunk beds. Um, yeah, which means purging a lot of toys. But I wanted to show you some really great way that we organize the kids' toys. We've done this before, but we've just got some really cool shelving from Ikea, which has made it even better. I love this Ikea shelving for so many reasons. It's so inexpensive and versatile. You can stack them, you can make um, a whole wall, you can add to them, you can put them vertically, you can put legs on the bottom like we did upstairs and made it into a buffet. I love Ikea shelving! So, here we go. This is our toy room organization. Here. Um, I use these bins from Dollarama, the dollar store, of course, but I also, of course, seen these with the, they fit perfectly, the canvas totes and banker boxes work as well that fit right in here nice and snugly. If this wasn't a toy room, if this was in my living room, I would probably have got the dark espresso and I probably would have got nice baskets or canvas totes, but it's a toy room and I want it as something durable for the kids, so I love these baskets. I've been using these same bins for years and they've hold up beautifully and the reason I like them is because they have handles they're very light they're really really sturdy but because they're plastic you can put these labels on them and that way my kids always know how to put their toys away I used to have these on a bookshelf and that didn't really work because the bookshelf was really high so they were always asking me to get down the higher bins and, and sometimes they'd try to do it themselves and the bin would fall and it wasn't really safe so these nice low shelves are perfect Sorry, she's over there playing, um, are perfect. And the way I made these labels on here, I'll zoom in for you. Um, that's a really old label. <laughs> but I got clear sheets from the Staples, any, any store like that. It's clear full label sheets. And what you do, I just went on Google Images and I um, copied the images that I wanted, little people, dinosaurs, whatever it is that you wanted, and then I pasted it into Word and then printed it on these full clear label sheets. I tried to put three or four pictures on each page so I wasn't wasting it. And then you simply cut them out, peel the back off, and stick them on. And these labels are great because they easily peel right back off if you wanted to put new ones on whatever switching but, and they're, they're easily washable, right? So I can, when I wash the top, I just wash and, and they're completely fine. So loving these for kids. The kids um, can easily know where everything is and how to put things away quickly and easily. And I mean, you can even put the words on there underneath to help them learn how to spell. I should have done that, but I didn't, but whatever. If you're gonna be doing it, I would recommend putting the, the name also underneath so it helps them learn to read. But anyways, loving these Ikea shelvings. Super inexpensive and look at how organized that is. Da, 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 da. And on top is where I, I you know, I, I'm not a huge fan of bins. I do like to display kids toys, but let's be real. We just would never have enough space and it would get too cluttered. So on the top is where I do my toy rotation and I do this in their bedrooms as well. So I rotate toys on a weekly basis. I will take these ones off and put them in the closet and bring new ones out and it's like Christmas morning all the time. <laughs> they always play with them more and they get less bored. So I have a couple special ones out that we do toy rotation. I do the same thing in the room and it just keeps them from getting bored and it keeps things fresh and new. So those are some tips for organizing your toys. <laughs> cool dude. <laughs> you, or just um, creating more storage in a space where you need it. That's your tip. We'll see you next time.